How's it going guys? Koji here, traincomplete.com. Back to the training technique series. We're still trying to build some muscle and today we're gonna use giant sets. Now as you know, when you're training and you're using different training techniques, there's a couple of variables that you can choose from to play around with. Um, this is like taking shorter breaks, um, choose different exercises for the same muscle group, changing your load what you're using, heavier, lighter weights. Today we're gonna manipulate the sets, what we're working on. So it's a great thing to do um, by manipulating sets, it's like supersets. You're training uh, two muscle groups uh, in the same time. Let's say it's a push and pull. So you do a bench press, let's say it's a pushing exercise. And then without any break, uh, you're gonna do rowing exercise, which is a back exercise, like a bent over row. So this way you're training two opposite muscle groups in the front and your backside, um, which saves you a lot of time. They don't hit each other. So they are while one muscle is resting, the other one is working. So it's an effective way to, to not just save time, but, um, but hit two muscle groups uh, in one workout. Now on Giant Sets, uh, it's a similar uh, concept, but instead of two exercises, we're gonna do four or five exercises, and they're all on the same muscle. So I was doing um, a back uh, workout on that day, and I was using the Giant Sets. So I was doing four exercises, which was a bent over row, a wide grip pull down, a close grip pull down, and a straight arm push down. So I'm trying to select exercises, which is on a, on a similar, on the same station. So you don't have to leave your station and, uh, and use four different machines. Um, why the giant sets good is it saves you a lot of time because there is no rest between the exercises. So you do one uh, giant set, then you take two minutes break, let's say, make sure you're recovered, and then you start again. You do three or four sets on the same muscle group, and then you move into the next one. Um, so it allows you to do, to hitting the muscle from different angles. So you roll something, uh, which, is a, which is a horizontal pull, then you do vertical pull, like a pull down, you do cross grip, and then you straight arm. I would leave the isolation exercise at the end, um, you can do my, uh, more reps or you can do the same repetition and everything. Um, you can manipulate with it, but I would stick to like a eight repetition um, on each exercise and try to go to failure. Once you reach muscle failure, go to uh, the next exercise. I would usually start with the harder uh, ones at the beginning, like a bent over row, go heavy on it, go wide grip pull down and then go to close grip it's a bit easier, your bicep can help, and then drop the weight and do more reps on the isolation like a push down. Again, I'm gonna upload the full workout to my Instagram and all the other muscle group. So you have a workout program for four weeks. Go to my Instagram, check it out, download it, let me know how did it go. I hope you enjoyed the series. I'll catch you in the next one. Train complete, train complete.